guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be playing around with the new ColourPop palettes. So I got all of these little palettes from ColourPop. So I got the Rumor Has It palette, which is this really pretty blue five pan monochromatic palette. I'm not gonna be using the High Society today, but I just wanted to show you it anyway. I got the Cashmere Forever, which is this really pretty, again, five pan monochromatic purple palette. I got the High Society one, which is the green one, and it is so stunning. I'm so excited for the green one. I got the Too Hot palette, which is the pink version, and it is so pretty, so stunning. I love the shades that are in this palette. And I got the last but not least, the Statement Piece one, which is the orange one, which is so pretty. So for today, I am going to be doing a look using the orange, the pink, the green, and the purple. I didn't use the blue one today just because I have done so many looks in the past couple of videos using blues and greens. So the only green that I used is on the inner corner. It's just a little pop of it. But the rest of the palettes, I did focus more on kind of pinks and oranges. And I'm just really excited to give you guys my first impressions on these palettes. So let's just jump on into the video. <laughs> So my eyes are already primed using the Dose of Color. So this is the concealer in the shade Fair 03. So I've already primed my eyes using that. I did that all off camera already because you guys don't need to see me doing that. It's very simple. <laughs> so now I'm just going to dive into these little palettes. They're so cute, oh my God. So I've had these sitting in my beauty room for a couple of weeks now. I've just been very busy. Like I said in my last video, the BoxyCharm unboxing, it's summertime here. So I have been incredibly busy just doing things outside. So bear with me if my content isn't uploaded as quickly as you're used to, and I'm not posting as many videos as I usually do, it's because it's so nice outside that I'm really not filming that often inside because it's too fucking warm. <laughs> I'm gonna do a pink in my crease. So I think I'm gonna go into the shade 2AM, which is this pink right here. I'm gonna put that all into my crease. So there is a lot of kick up in the palette when I dip my brush into it. So I do think that these shadows will probably be very pigmented. So let's just see. So that blended out really, really nicely. I do wanna go in with just a lighter pink, so I'm gonna go into the orange palette, and I'm gonna go into the shade Blair, and I'm just gonna put that all on top of my crease just to blend out that first pink color. Those two colors blended together really, really well. So now I'm just gonna go back into the 2AM color, and I'm just going to re-intensify that kind of hot pink that I put right in the crease. So this is my very first time using these palettes. They've been sitting in my beauty room for a few weeks now and they've just been taunting me and I've been wanting to play with them, but I just haven't had time and now I finally get to. And so far the pink and the orange palette is working really, really well. So I'm very excited for that. The YouTuber Butte Bean here on YouTube is actually the reason that I picked up these palettes. She did this really gorgeous kind of rainbow look with them. And ever since I watched that video, I was like, yep, I need those. Those are so pretty. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do a really quick look today because this turned out really, really fun and really pretty just on its own. And I don't really think it needs too much. And I think I might just go in with one of the other palettes to do the under eye just so that we can get a cohesive look. So I'm gonna go in with my glitter glue. So this is the NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm just gonna put that on my lid. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. So we can put the shimmer right in the center. The shade from the orange palette, which is the shade Diamond Cut, which is this really pretty kind of pinky color. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger and see how it works. So this is what it looks like just on my finger. And we're just gonna put that on the, ooh, that's pretty, on the lid. So that worked really well just on my finger. So now I'm gonna go back in with a tapered brush and I'm gonna go back into the hot pink and I'm just going to blend in the edges. So I'm just gonna go back into the 2AM color and I'm just going to re-intensify the pink. Now I'm just gonna go into the color Chain Mail which is this really gorgeous orange. It's the darkest orange in the palette and I'm just going to add that on where we put that second pink color, like the really light color, the Blair color. I'm just gonna re-intensify it with this really pretty orange. And I'm just putting it on the outer and the inner, just to add more colors to this look. So 
If you're only interested in getting a couple of these palettes, these two worked really, really well, and I think they are great so far. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and recreate this entire look on the other eye and do my base products off camera just because you guys don't need to see that. I'm just going to be using the same products that I always use, which is the Pure Elise BB Cream and then just my bronzer, my blush. I've been using the Out of Sight blush from ColourPop mixed with a little bit of the Desert Rose from Note. It looks like this. It's really pretty. And so I'm just going to quickly go do all of that off camera and I will be right back to finish the under eyes with you. Okay, so I haven't completely finished my makeup yet, obviously, because I don't have my eyelashes on or my foundation or any of that. But I wanted to come on here quickly and show you guys my eyelashes that I got this month in my subscription box. So this is from the brand Queen Lash. So I am on their PR list. So thank you so much to Queen Lash for sending me June's box this month. So I'm really excited. So this is the June Queen Lash subscription box. So if you guys are interested in signing up with the subscription box, all of the information will be listed in the description box down below. So this is what this month's subscription box looks like. This is what the lashes look like. So they are absolutely stunning. I am so excited to try these lashes. They are right up my alley of being really glamorous, really fun, really, really just glam lashes. And that's what I absolutely love in lashes. So I'm so excited that a brand is willing to work with me and send me PR and all of that stuff. So last month we got all of these lashes and I've only actually used the, I think it was the Pretty Queen lashes. I haven't actually used the other ones yet because I, like I said, haven't been filming a whole lot lately. But I do want to play with some of the lashes from this month's box. So I do think that they are all the same in this month because they're not labeled or anything. So I'm just gonna grab just a pair of them and we're just gonna quickly throw them on and then you guys can see what they look like in on me. So this is what the lashes look like. They are absolutely stunning. I am so excited to play with them and try them. So I'm just gonna quickly go cut them down to my eye shape and I'm going to throw them on and then I will come back on here and show you guys what they look like. And honestly, they are so pretty. I'm so excited. So thank you again. I did get a gift as well with the subscription box. So they sent me this really cute headband. So I don't really use headbands or anything when I'm doing makeup. I just kind of throw my hair into a bun, but I do think that this is really cute. It says, welcome more sunshine and smiles. This month, your Queen Lash box has the viral bow hair band you may have seen. Use this hair band to keep your hair dry and out of the way while doing a face mask, your makeup, or washing your face. With love, Shola. So PS, if you like your box, please review it on your site. It truly helps small businesses. And then it just says you're a lash queen and post your box on Instagram and tag us with the Lash Queen Lash <laughs> for a chance to win a year's worth of lashes. So you guys can do that down below. If you guys are interested in signing up with the subscription box, like I said, I will post all of the information for you guys down below so you guys can go check them out. But you guys get a free gift every time you order a set of the subscription lashes, so that is amazing. So I'm just gonna quickly go throw my lashes on, do my base makeup, and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back after I have put on all of my base products. So the only thing that I haven't put on is my highlight because I have a new palette that I want to showcase and show you guys because this palette is stunning. So it looks like this. So this is from the brand Odin's Eye, and this is the Alvan Odin's Eye Highlight Palette. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but these shades are so stunning. They are so beautiful. This palette, the packaging is so pretty. It is so gorgeous. I am absolutely in love with this palette. It is so pretty. So this is what the shades look like. So there is a blue shade, a kind of white-ish pink shade, a gold shade, and then a straight up sparkle shade. So I will put them on my hand just so you guys can see the colors because they are so freaking pretty. So this is what they look like on my fingers. So if I swatch them, here is the blue shift, the pink shift, the gold, and the sparkle. So the iridescent sparkle shade is absolutely my 100% favorite. I have been using this palette just on my own personal time without doing a video or anything, just using it. And every time I use it, my boyfriend and my roommate both mentioned that my face is covered in sparkles. And I think that is hilarious and amazing. So I'm so in love with this palette. It is so pretty. So if you guys are interested in picking this palette up, I will post it in the information in my description box down below. So I have been using the Platinum Ice Palette from Jeffree 
Star for quite a few years. So as you can see, I have really liked the shade Ice Cold. And this palette absolutely blows it out of the water. So I am so excited, but like, look at my hand now. I can't even get it off. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna throw on some highlight with you guys. So I'm just gonna use a highlight brush and I'm gonna go into the shade, the blue, the pink, and a little bit of the sparkle shade. So I'm gonna start off with the blue and just put it on my highlight points. Then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the pink and then a little bit of the glitter. And that's what I have been using for the last little while. And look at that, that is so pretty, so stunning. I am absolutely obsessed with that combo of all of the highlights together. The only one that I have not used in this kind of combination is the gold. I'm just not really that into gold highlights. I like using it as like an inner corner highlight, but I don't really like using it for a face highlight. That's just my personal preference. So I'm just putting it all over my high points. And I love glitter, so I don't even mind if I am literally covered in glitter for the rest of the day. I think it is so pretty. I'm gonna go into the other palettes that I have here. So I do have the High Society palette, which is the green palette. And I'm gonna go into that green color, which is the Buggin' shade, which is this shimmer shade here. And I'm gonna put that on my inner corner because I think that will be really pretty. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush and go to my inner corner and make the inner corner kind of like a green yellow color because I think that is really pretty and goes with pink and orange really well. So one of my absolute favorite color combos is green and pink, so I think this is really fun. And now that I have that on, I'm gonna go in with my highlight palette and I'm gonna go into that salamander color, which is that straight up glitter color and I'm just gonna add some of the glitter on top because I think that is so fun, so pretty. I'm gonna go into a little bit of the um, pink color. I can't say the names, I'm not too sure how to pronounce them, so I'm just going with the pink one, and I'm putting that over top, and I think that's really fun. So now I'm just gonna go in with the pink one again, and just highlight my brow bone, and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the blue as well. All right, so now we can do the under eyes. So the under eyes, I think I'm gonna go into the purple palette. So I'm gonna go into this palette here, which is the Cashmere Forever palette. And I'm just gonna go into this really pretty kind of pastel purple color. I'm gonna sweep that underneath my waterline. So that's pretty, but I would say that it's not as intense as I was hoping. I know it is a pastel, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Madison color, which is this darker purple, mixed into that pastel, just to get a little bit more of a darker purple. So now I'm just gonna go in with my purple from ColourPop. So this is the shade Crybaby, and I'm just going to put that on my waterline, just to go with my under eye color. I don't know if that's actually showing up though. I might have to go in with a different color. This is the finished look. So the only thing left I have to do is I need to throw on some mascara on my waterline. So this is just the Lily Lashes mascara. So I'm just gonna quickly coat my bottom lashes in the mascara. This is the finished look. So I do think that the palettes that I used today worked really well. So I used the Statement Piece palette, which is the orange. I used the Too Hot palette, which is the pink. I used the High Society palette just on that inner corner. And I used the Cashmere Forever on the bottom lashes. I do think that this color combo turned out really pretty. The only palette that I didn't use was the Rumor Has It palette, just because I have done so many looks in the past couple of videos doing kind of green and blue eye looks. So I wanted to do a different color combination today. So that's why we went with the pink and orange and purple kind of area, and I do think that this turned out really pretty. I am rocking my Teddy Fresh toque today, and it is really pretty. It's a black and pink striped toque, and I think it goes really well with this eye look and this wig, so I am very excited that these palettes worked really well and they blended really well. My wig is going all over the place today, so 
ignore that. I do think that these palettes worked really well. I do think that they blended really well. I do think that they are reasonably priced. I do believe they are only about $10 each. I bought all of them and I think it was like 60 or 70 Canadian, something like that. It was kind of expensive considering I live in Canada, but that's just how it is with the exchange rate, the shipping, all of that. It's always expensive to buy makeup living in Canada. So I do think that these palettes worked really great. I do think that they're reasonably priced. I think they worked really amazing. And honestly, they are very, very user friendly. So if you are just starting to get into makeup and you're looking for just some easy to blend palettes and you're looking for colorful palettes, these palettes worked really great. They are only we eat five pans so you're not gonna feel overwhelmed with like a huge 30 or 40 pan palette and not know what kind of look you want to create. I do think that you can just buy one or two of these if you are just interested in those color stories and you can make really pretty looks just combining them together. I love the look that I created today. It's so pretty and honestly, I have nothing negative to say about this. So these palettes are obviously just my first impressions. So I have not used these palettes any other time than in this video. So this is just a first impressions. I will do a full length review later on after I have used them a couple of times and once I have used all of them but like I said I did not use the rumor has it palette today just because I didn't need it so I am very 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 happy with the way that this turned out I hope you guys did enjoy this video I know I have been absent from YouTube for a little while but I will be coming back soon to create more videos and give you guys more content it's just summertime right now and I am enjoying myself outside <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this and i will see you guys at the next video bye but this is what this month's eyelashes look like so they look like this they are absolutely falling out of the package